Whoever you are holding me now in hand. By Walt Whitman. Whoever you are holding me now in hand. Without one thing, all will be useless. I give you fair warning before you attempt me further. I am not what you supposed, but far different. Who is he that would become my follower? Who would sign himself a candidate for my affections? The way is suspicious, the result uncertain, perhaps destructive. You would have to give up all else. I alone would expect to be your sole and exclusive standard. Your novitiate would even then be long and exhausting. The whole past theory of your life in all conformity to the lives around you would have to be abandoned. Therefore, release me now before troubling yourself any further. Let go your hand from my shoulders. Put me down and depart on your way. Or else by stealth and some wood for trial or back of a rock at the open air. For in any roofed room of a house I emerge not, nor in company. And in libraries I lie as one dumb, a gawk, or unborn, or dead. But just possibly with you, on a high hill, first watching lest any person for miles around approach unawares. Or possibly with you sailing at sea, or on the beach of the sea or some quiet island. Here to put your lips upon mine, I permit you. With a comrade's long dwelling kiss or the new husband's kiss, for I am the new husband and I am the comrade. Or if you will, thrusting me beneath your clothing, where I may feel the throbs of your heart or rest upon your hip. Carry me when you go forth over land or sea. For thus merely touching you is enough, is best. And thus touching you, I would silently sleep and be carried eternally. But these leaves conning you, con at peril. For these leaves in me, you will not understand. They will elude you at first and still more afterward. I will certainly elude you. Even while you should think you had unquestionably caught me, behold, I already see I have escaped from you. For it is not for what I have to put into it that I have written this book, nor is it by reading it you will acquire it. Nor do those know me best who admire me and vauntingly praise me, nor will the candidates for my love, unless at most a very few prove victorious. Nor will my poems do good only. They will do just as much evil, perhaps more. For all is useless without that which you may guess at many times and not hit that which I hinted at. Therefore, release me and depart on your way. <laughs>